Hey, my beautiful collective, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome back. Okay, so before we get started, you already know what time it is. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful collective. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their purpose. I thank you for their divine powers, Heavenly Father. Right now, we ask you to usher them into their greatness. Victory is our portion. We receive it. We walk in it. It is ours. All right, Collective. So, I'm going to start off with some questions so we can get that, you know, situated. And then we'll get into the reading. Two messages of love and life for my beautiful Collective. Two messages of love and life. Mm. This is love and life, my beautiful collector. I'm going to take both of these. Okay. So the first question that we have collective is, what kind of advice on life would, I, would my old self give to my current self? What kind of advice on life would my old self give to my current self? Whew. I feel that right now, Spirit wants you to acknowledge your growth. Acknowledge the wisdom that you have acquired over the years, over the decades. Spirit wants you to really understand that you have something to give to the world. And uh, and that's the reason why Spirit wants you to remind yourself on what would you tell your younger self? Uh, what would you tell your younger, your younger self at this point of awareness that you're in now? This is this is to acknowledge that you have wisdom to share with the youth, people who were on the mindset that you were when you first, you know, embarked upon life. And um, Spirit wants you to not only recognize how far you came, but Spirit wants you to actually share that wisdom and that knowledge, inspire others, because we are here for a greater purpose than our own. All right, so the next question is, how or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? Spirit saying all of those qualities that you that you have when you are by yourself, your fear of not not being um, not being rejected. Spirit saying it's time for you to it's time to be exposed. It meaning that it's time for you to show your true self to the world. It's time for the world to see how genuine and unique you are. It's so that you can inspire others to be, to walk in their authentic selves. You are here to inspire, to bring light into other people's lives, collective. Okay, let's get into this. Spirit of the Most High, give us messages for our beautiful, brilliant collective messages of love and light. Our beautiful, brilliant, fearless collective. Ooh, okay, so hmm, the first thing I have is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, speaks of things going into your favor. Would it be in a 10? This is new beginnings. So this is endings and new beginnings that are coming in at this time. I feel like there can be um, something that's going in your favor. I feel like it has to do with uh, wealth, with uh, change. I feel like with this wheel, it's like aspects of your life are changing in like a 360 type of dynamic. Um, and also because this change is occurring spirit because it's right under the question what kinds of what kind of advice on life would i give my old self you know by being your current self and and basically spirit is saying um to ask yourself that question because you are about to go to a new level okay I, I keep hearing that song i'm on a new level I'm on a new level. So right now, Spirit is saying, recognize your wisdom because you're elevating. And just know with that elevation, you have acquired more wisdom. So, and then we have, um, we have the page of wands and we have a page of pinnacles. So I feel like somebody is coming in. Somebody wants to give you a message. This is somebody who, um, who wants to make some type of action towards you because I feel like you you are at the point where you are leaving old things behind and you are um 
you're leaving old things behind and you're starting new things. So with you starting new things, I feel like people are coming in wanting to communicate with you. People are wanting to uh, try to build up relationships because you have this energy of abundance around you. So with this being said, with this page of wands, I feel like you have somebody that may be uh, hesitant on bringing you this message, but somebody wants to bring you a message, bring you some type of action towards you and your new beginning. Somebody wants to be a part of your new beginning. And, and because, um, because of, because there's one, this could have been somebody who was not active in the past or or, or had the tendency to uh, move slower. Also, I feel like with these two pages, there are new beginnings. People from the past wanting a new beginning and there's people that are in your current energy wanting a new beginning. I feel like you could be getting an offer from somebody that's younger than you collective. So, um... I don't know. Y'all might be like Stella trying to get a groove back with a young buck. I don't know, but whatever it is, enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay. But also, also this person who is, who's wanting to bring this page of pentacles to you. I feel like they want to start a new beginning. This person is hesitant. I feel like these two pages could be the same person. I feel like they want to talk to you, uh, bring you some type of information about something that has happened in the past, wanting to move forward in your new beginning. And also, but what they want to bring to the table may not be much. How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? I feel like at this point, um, Spirit is saying that when these... Um, I feel like when these messages start to come out, I feel like if you if you did not show your true self why if you were you were with these people or with this particular person in the past, I feel like the the mask of wanting things to be kosher, the mask of wanting to just make things right is faded away. I feel like this person is going to get your true and honest uh, reaction. Like in the past with whoever this person was, you could have uh, not been your authentic self. You could have been wanting to be more pleasing than, than logical or more accommodating than confrontational. And with that, I feel like things still ended up in chaos with the five of wands coming out. It still was competition. Um, and, and I feel like, so you finally realize to be successful that you have to walk in your power. And I feel like when these were, when this communication comes in, you're going to be open and you're going to be honest with not just them, but yourself on how you truly feel. I feel like this communication, this person is going to want to come in. This person uh, is, uh, has a lot of love for you. I feel like they didn't show you that emotion in the past because they were too busy being confrontational with you. But they're coming in, want to talk about it. And this person is looking for a higher commitment with you. This person wants to offer you something, something with stability, something that they slept on in the past. But I don't even feel like this is the energy that you really want to be in at this time. I feel like you're trying to real, you're finally realizing that where you were thinking of this person in the past, you're no longer thinking of them like that. So like where I thought I wanted a family with you now, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just chill out and, you know, chill for a second, see what, see what's out here. Yeah, right here with the um with the eight of swords. This is something that you that that somebody could feel trapped in. I feel like bringing you this offer, they feel trapped in. They feel left out in a cold from you. I feel like because once you pulled your energy away, and now with this wheel of fortune, this lets me feel like things are going in your favor, and I feel like they're watching you. So they're watching things go in your favor, and they're they're seeing people want to give to you now. They want to give to you because they didn't give to you in the past. It's kind of like their ego is kind of their um yeah you're a goddamn empress like they i feel like they want to come back they it was a tower moment with the empress and now they want to make things just because i feel like their conscience is uh really building up on them because of the conflict they created all right collective well that is your reading for today um i hope you guys have, have a wonderful day wonderful night whenever you see this i love you love yourself please remember that we are god so we create our world outside of us your imagination is a very very powerful and magical tool utilize it i love you love yourself like and subscribe guys
Oh, also Phoenix Intuition channel, follow it. <laughs>